don't you not like me? And she was like, I don't. And I was like, go worry about your daughter, you fucking sociopath. And then I unlined her. And then when I unlined her, she was like, oh, she must be on her period. Hey, bitch, you is a real sociopath to get on the internet after what the fuck happened and worry about everything but what you need to be worried about. Something is really wrong with you. Something is really... What's not clicking, Steven? Precious, that's a weird bitch. Like, don't lie me. Line your fucking daughter, bitch. That's what you need to do. Ain't shit over here for you. And she's like, I take my my daughter to Disney World. I do this and I do that. Girl, we don't care if you beat her ass, though. As long as you beating somebody ass, then we don't care. Like, shut up. I think it's weird how much she complained about the church bullying her, but how excited she be to talk to Keith. And I feel like every time he lie her, he be playing her face. He's like, bitch, you all that shit about me and my church, but who you want to be up under? Who you be excited when he lying you? Literally, she was showing all the receipts of how they was bullying her. Just for her to line him and be like, something's really wrong with you, bitch. Something is really, yeah, she likes him bad. And it, that's why I really think she hates me for real, because I ain't do nothing to that hoe. She in love. Like, all the bitches that have a crush on Pastor hate me. If y'all ever peep game, they all hate me, but they love him. He's still playing in her face. He, she claimed he played in her face in the Facebook days. He's still playing in your face. He don't like you. You're dummy. I hope you keep doing it. I appreciate it. I really do. I love when he playing her face. Thank you. What do you mean, why they're not doing her like 21? What do you mean? I think the people that dog 21, them just people that just is some haters. But for the most part, what I've noticed on um they try to cancel 21, but they can't. But I think at this point, Beagle has gotten to the place where it's like almost demonic. Like up is down, left is right. Ooh. Like they drag the people that need don't need to be dragged, and then they don't drag the people that need it. And there's a lot of people on here that relate to dead beats. If y'all look at them comments, like I said earlier, that one comment that gonna tell precious um yeah, I wanna I need a break too. I wanna call CPS on myself after pressure said I needed this break. Um, sweetheart, you have issues. But them will be the same bitches in my comments calling me a bum and a loser, but they'll be in a deadbeat live. Like, yeah, girl, I wanna break too. Fuck it. I'm gonna call CPS on my like okay. Okay. I see what's up. Hey Lady Ray, I see what's up with you bitches. I really do. Y'all are fucking weird. Y'all are yeah, that's let's call the spade a spade. That ain't normal, bitch. I, I relate. I relate. I, I need a break too. My daughter annoying as shit. Like, what's wrong with you hoes? Hey, girl. But something's really wrong with these bitches. Like, the more I interact and sit on this app, I'm like, they hate normal people, but then a bitch could be like literally a whole Debbie, and they'd be like, yay! It made me feel like y'all is abusing y'all kids and shit. I think some of these hoes is just, I don't know. I do feel like having any amount of kids can be stressful depending on the situation. But I just feel like I don't respect the fact that someone can just literally not want their kid at all. At all. Like, when people are like, oh, she's like, um, it's weird that she's not acting like she's hurt about her daughter not being there. She's the same person that literally told... Hey, CP, she's the same one that told her um daughter that she didn't want her. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you really need to break that bag, the fact that your sister has your daughter right now means that you could, there's a place that you could have took her. That means that you had a place that somebody could have took her for you. Exactly, aside. Like, I think everybody could use a break, but by CPS, that's how you know something's wrong with them. They don't want their kids. They couldn't. You couldn't possibly tell me you would say something like that, but you want your kids.
it's something demonic about it saying my name, to be honest with you. To be honest. I'm getting bigger. But um, it's something really weird about it. But that's not my burden to bear because I don't be over there sending them shit. No shade. Um, I personally feel like a lot of people, when they when they do that for 21 or for Detroit Thought, like, and that's not to say that 21 really even is like fucked up that bad. You know what I mean? But I feel like they feel better about themselves sending them money versus sending it to someone who's more on the normal side. You get what I'm trying to say? Like they feel better about themselves. Like they thought like they did charity work or something. You get what I'm trying to say? Like they go to their live and watch them and be like, look at this dumbass. Look at this, look at this bitch. She tracking this fuck. <laughs> Let me send her $10. She needs it. It is weird, but I find that a lot of weird people like Vico. There's a lot of people on here too, but a lot of people, they like to watch them crumble. It makes them feel better about themselves. The same reason why they come to my live and call me a bum and call me broke. Like, if this is a bum, I love being a bum. If this is being a bum, I love it here. Sorry. Hate to be the one to sell you. I don't pay no bills for real. Except for my, well, my, my bills is expensive. I got bad credit, but the bills I pay are mines, you feel me? And they are expensive. But, um, because I live with my mother. You know how many people in America live with their mother? It's people with full-time jobs that live with their mother. Like, you sound stupid. I'm a bum because you said so, but you go to a real-life bum live like Detroit Thought, and you over there sitting here. Girl, you cannot make this shit up. You can I, I couldn't make it up if I wanted to. I, when I said I couldn't make it up if I wanted to, I think it's strange, but... That's why does mind my business. He quit his job the other day. And my definition of a bum is someone that goes to work and pulls their dick out. That's a fucking bum. But he had, but he, but he has a whole apartment that he got because he had a house in Virginia. That's how I know that something's wrong with y'all. But that's why does mind my motherfucking business and let y'all do what y'all do. No shay, I really just mind my business because I think y'all are fucking weird on here. Most of y'all. <sighs> In real life. Exactly, Punch. These folks get on here and be like, but but he has but it, whatever you say, sis, whatever you backwards as fuck. I think it's more than feeling sorry for him. I think that he they feel better about themselves when they go to their lives and see people living the way that they live. You get what I'm trying to say? Like they go to this live and they like, oh, this bitch is a bum. <laughs> Because uh, they compare themselves to bigger people. Because I've literally had girls get on here and compare themselves to me. They'd be like, I got a house and you don't. I'm like, I don't even fucking know you. You're not even a host. Who even are you? Who cares what you have, bitch? You're a loser. They compare themselves to bigger hosts. And that's why I say, if you get on Bigo and compare yourself to bigger hosts, then I feel like the bar is pretty low. Because most of the hosts on here that's y'all faves is crackheads. Or like literally something's wrong with them. Like, I'm being for real. Most of the people. That's your faves have issues. And most people that's on here, it's weird. So for you to get on my, on Bigo out of all the apps to compare yourself, you skip Facebook, you skip Instagram, you skip YouTube, and you compare yourself to Bigo host, that means your self-esteem low as fuck. It shouldn't be shit to compare yourself to. But, you know, teach is on. These hoes don't never want to get on Instagram and compare themselves to a more Jada. The bar is too high on Instagram. But the bar is very low on Bigo. So they get on Bigo and they want to feel bad about themselves. Look, I'm not talking about, look, we ain't talking about Charlie. I feel like out of all the hosts, Charlie, me, Eb, you know, a lot of y'all don't like her. Um, Eb, certain people on here is more towards the normal side of things. Now, other people on here are strange and crazy and weird and evil. And then y'all be like, y'all eat it up. But then y'all go to a weird, a, a normal person live and y'all hate that ass. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, I feel like that's weird. They are praying on their demise too. Like I find it very odd. Like when people go to Detroit Thought Live and they telling him to get more perks, I like, be like, "Is this real life? They must want this. They want him to die. Hopefully, he ain't taking as much perks as he say he is." Cause I think it's I think it's strange. They literally send him money to go buy a whole bunch of perks. And then if something happened to him, they'll be on here pretending to be sad. Them same people that sending him money to buy perks, they'll be the same ones that be on here like, oh my God, I can't believe he passed away from an overdose. I can't believe it. Those will be the same people. Thank you.
I believe they want to see him fucked up. I don't even think it's about not wanting to see him sick. Because if you're an addict and you're trying to get clean, the whole point of getting clean is to go through withdrawals. That's the whole point of it. They want to keep him on drugs. That's my personal opinion. They like him better when he's on drugs taking french fries up his ass. They like him better that way. They love when he pretends to go to rehab and then leaves rehab the same day. Like, I really genuinely believe that. I don't think they want to see him clean. Which is why they keep sending him money to buy more. You know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like 21 is equally as funny when she's sober. So it's like, huh? Oh, no. I forgot to put them back. I think that they want to see her out bad. Hey girl, how you doing? My name is Charlie. Nice to meet you. I was wondering if I could take you out, show you a good time, invite you to my house. 